the Dead Ahab Scroll. Well, not quite. Since its introduction, the noodless Ahab has been the controversial fountain pen. Some like it, some don't. Some can get it to work right out of the box, and some can't, especially when using flex. Here we're going to look at the engineering aspect and see how we can deal with some of the issues when it misbehaves. Like all fountain pens, the Ahab needs to have an airtight enclosure to store ink, to which the nib and feet are attached. When you write, ink is pulled out of the nib, and then the feet allows air to replace the lost volume. If the enclosure has a leak, air would leak in and mess up ink flow. To check air tightness, take off the nib and feet. I'll use this example. Push the piston rod in. Lick your finger. Pluck the front of the section, and try to pull back the piston rod. You should feel well a good bit of suction that's going to hold on, and then it's right. The fill system is of syringe type, and the syringe is removable for easy cleaning. The joint between the syringe and the section has to be airtight. So at the back of the section, there's a gasket to help with this, but there's a temptation to screw in the syringe a little bit tighter than necessary, which will eventually prise open the syringe thread. Well, as in this example, you can see it's barely holding on. So try not to over tighten. A bit of pure silicone grease applied to the section thread would make sure that it's all airtight. To fill the pen, dip it into your ink bottle till the front of the section is submerged, and then pull back the piston rod. You need to repeat it once or twice in order to make sure that you've got a good fill. And here's the secret of the tube fitted to the back of the feed. Feed. During filling, ink will take the path of least resistance to end the piston, and it is through this tube. When writing, the tube also stops the ink from draining through this hole too quickly, thus achieving a re well-regulated ink flow. In fact, the feet is the heart of the pen. The first thing to test is that this tube and feet assembly is properly vented. The feet has a small hole right here inside the top channel that connects to the tube. So blow gently through the tube and you should feel it's quite easy to blow through. Then you get a glass of water, submerge the whole feet in it and repeat. You should see bubbles coming out at the right spot. If that be the case, you've got a good one. With the feet and nip lined up, you can fit them into the section. The section has a slot for the nib, so it fits only one way. And that means there's only one correct position for the nib. Noodlers and other firms supply nibs of other specifications which are Ahab compatible. They should satisfy most needs. This also means the only variable in setting up the pen is the feed position, as it can be brought closer to the tip or further back in. There are different theories on what is the best feed position, but I found that about two or three millimeters from the nib should be about, well, the default position. To ensure a good ink supply, the bottom of the nib and the top of the feet needs to have good contact to give good capillary action between them, so that during writing, ink is pulled out of the nib with no interruption. Heat setting the nib would make a big difference. The feet is made out of ebonite and it can distort slightly when heated. My preferred way is to get it properly assembled and then dip the nip and feet into a cup of freshly boiled water for about, say, 30 seconds. And then use your thumb and fingers to press the nip and feet together until they cool down.
So these are the major points to check in order to get the foundations right. There are other small aspects as well, but the method I've described has already done a good job fixing quite a number of misbehaving used Ahabs. It is best to make sure that the foundation functionality is sorted before proceeding further. So, if you enjoyed it, please leave a comment, hopefully a constructive one, and subscribe for forthcoming videos, and I hope you can join me again. Bye for now.